hi friends hi creative minds thank you guys for joining me on the sewing version and if you are yet to draft out your pattern i would advise you to click out of this video go draft out your pattern on um, how to make a collar shirt and a skirt piece this is the thumbnail i'll be providing a link on the description box below so click on the link to draft out your pattern and come join us on the sewing version and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel our advice you go ahead and do that right now so you don't forget and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so the first thing i would like to talk about is how many yards of fabric i used and i used two and a half yards for my size and the type of fabric i used for this is crepe so go ahead and get your fabric ready and your pattern let's start cutting the first thing we're going to do is place the pattern on the folded fabric and cut. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to what I'm saying. Make sure you have two layers of fabric and you have the open edges facing you like this. Now, the next thing you're going to do is fold this in by four inches. If you draft out the pattern with me, you remember we did this stage while we were drafting out our pattern. We fold in four inches on the pattern. So that is what we're doing on the fabric. We're just going to go ahead and fold in four inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and confirm with my tape before I iron this out. Why am I ironing this out? So that it lays really flat. And I have that ghetto line indicating that this is the four inches I folded in. So once that is done, I'm just going to place my pattern like this and I will trace out the neckline, the armhole and the sides. So at this point, you should go ahead and cut out your pattern after you're done folding in four inches and then placing your pattern, go ahead and cut. You can decide to leave allowance while cutting, half an inch allowance around while cutting. That is actually up to you. So once that is done, I'm just going to go ahead and make that notch we made on the pattern. Remember I said that the notch we're making on the pattern is supposed to be done on the fabric. That is what I'm doing. I'm just going to notch here. And I'll go down to the length. I'll do the same or notch. And you guys, this notches I'm making is really important. This is going to really help us sew our notch color. So go ahead and make a notch right now, just as I am doing on the neckline and on the base indicate your four inches notch so i'll take off my pattern and this is how the front piece look you can see the line from the ironing you can see how sharp it is right now let's go ahead and cut out the back piece now for the back piece i folded in my fabric and now i have the close edge of the fabric facing me and i'm just going to place the pattern like this and cut so if you don't have something heavy, you should have a pin. Go ahead and pin your pattern to the fabric. Trace out the sides, the armhole, the shoulder, and the neckline. And please do not forget, make sure you have the close edge on the center back of your back piece. And this is my back piece and step two is for us to sew the front and the back piece together so this is my back piece and i just indicated the wrong side i'm just going to open this up and place my two front piece remember you should have two front piece because this is a shirt so this is my two front piece i'm just going to place this right side facing right side i'll sew on the shoulders by half an inch And I also sew the sides by half an inch. I'll place the other front piece on the side. And I'll go sew this by half an inch on the shoulder. And then the sides by half an inch. So let's take this to the sewing machine and join together. Now, if you're new to sewing, you should take your time and gradually do this. Don't rush. Just take your time and sew your piece together. Now, step three is for us to make a second notch on the neckline. So, this is the first notch we have 
on the neckline this first notch is the four inches we folded in on the neckline and on the base here we made a notch and this is going to be referred to the first notch so the first notch what we're going to do is for the second notch we're just going to go ahead and fold in the extra four inches by 1.5 inch so that's what i'm doing i'm just folding this by 1.5 inch i'm going to confirm this with my tape And you can see I have 1.5. I'm just going to make sure that I have 1.5 and I'm going to notch this part here. So now we have two notches on this part of the neckline. Let's repeat this step again. I'm going to move to the side and this is the first notch from the 4 inches. I'm just going to go ahead from the extras of the 4 inches or fold in like this by 1.5 inch. And then I'll make a notch on it. The 1.5 inch, this is sitting on the extra of the 4 inches we notched. And I'm just going to make the second notch. Now these notches we'll be making is from the 4 inches point and then from the extra we folded in 1.5 and then that is the second notch we have. So on the 4 inches we have 2 notches. Now step 4 is for us to measure the neckline from the second notch. This is for the purpose of creating the collar. So for us to be able to create the collar, we're just going to go ahead and place the tape. After folding in, make sure your 4 inches is folded in like this. It's folded in into the neckline and you place your tape from the second notch we made. And then you take this to the other side of the second notch we made on the neckline on the other side so we're going from the left to the right and make sure you stop your tape at the second notch made on the other side which is the left and for me i got 16 and a half i hope you guys understood what just happened here so step five is for us to cut out our interfacing for the collar. So because I got 16.5 as the width of my neckline, I'm just going to mark that on the interfacing. I'm just going to indicate 16.5. And for how wide or how long I want my collar to be, that is going to be 2.5 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this. From the starting point of the interfacing, I'm just going to place my tape like this and indicate 2.5 inches go ahead and cut this out this is the interfacing for my collar and um, the next thing for me to do is place this interfacing on the fabric and yeah we're going to be doing the steps together So step six is for us to place the collar interfacing on the folded fabric and cut. And this is how we're going to be doing that. This is the fabric and I'm just going to place my interfacing like this. I'll make sure that the wrong side, that's the gummy part of the interfacing, slips on the fabric. And I'll go in with my hot iron at a reasonable heat. I'm just going to go ahead and iron this out. So make sure you have half an inch before you place your interface. Make sure you have half an inch um space before you place your interfacing inwards and once you're done doing that you can go ahead and cut out a lot of sx with the interfacing because we're going to be using this to turn the interfacing to the right side we're going to be doing a lot so just make sure you have this amount of sx and this is the next thing we're going to do we're going to fold in the half inch we left before placing the interfacing we're going to fold it in like this and iron this out so ironing is actually really important in this step so you need to have your iron at a reasonable heat so you can be able to get flat edges like this so once i am done ironing i'm just going to sew by the half an inch or quarter an inch on this and i'll be sewing this from the right side of the fabric so this is the right side of my fabric and i'm just going to sew in the folded half an inch
So this is to make sure that the folded half an inch sits in on that part of the interfacing, on the wrong side of the interfacing. And once I am done sewing, the next thing for me to do is to flip this like this. Now I am flipping this into the right side and now you can see my interfacing. The interfacing was placed on the wrong side of the fabric. Now you can see it. So once I have that flipped like this, I folded this into two and then I'm just going to sew very close to the interfacing. I'll be doing the same thing on the side. So now I have two fabrics laying together and I'm just sewing this very close to the interfacing and once I'm done sewing I'm just going to cut out the excess fabric on the sides I'll do the same thing on the other side I'll cut out the excess fabric and to cut out the excess fabric at the base of the collar all I have to do is cut out and leave quarter or half an inch so it is up to you to leave quarter or half an inch but right now what i'm leaving is quarter an inch i'm just going to leave quarter an inch while i cut out the excess now this quarter an inch is what we're going to use to sew the collar to the neckline so once i am done with those steps i'm just going to flip my collar to the right side and you guys will be seeing how it looks so at this point or before this point i was supposed to tell you guys that you can decide to shape in your collar how you want it to look if you don't want it to be this square you can give it a shape before you know going on with the next process so once i have it flipped to the right side i'm just going to go ahead and iron this out now you guys this is the most important part of this video we're going to be sewing the collar to the neckline now this is my shirt and this is the neckline you guys remember we have two notches on this we have the first notch which is the four inches notch and the second notch which is the 1.5 inch notch what we're going to do is from the four inches notch we're going to fold that into the right side of the shirt so it is not to the wrong side we're folding this into the right side of the shirt that's the main the main side of the shirt the good side of the shirt and we're going to start sewing by quarter an inch from the four inches notch. I'll keep sewing and when I get to the second notch we made, which is the 1.5 inch notch, I'm just going to stop and bring my collar in. Now this is the collar and you guys remember we left half an inch for the sewing right while we're cutting this collar off from the excess fabric. Now that half an inch fabric is what I'll be sewing and what I'll do is place my collar between the neckline of the shirt and the, and the 4 inches extra we left. Remember we're sewing this, we're going to be sewing the collar from the second notch which is the 1.5 inch notch. And we're just going to place the collar fabric and make sure when you're sewing, you're sewing on the neckline, you're sewing on the half inch on the collar, and you're also sewing on the excess of the four inches um, fabric we left. So make sure you have those three fabrics together and then you just go ahead and sew carefully pulling the line of the collar. Please let me know in the comment section if you understood this part, but we're going to be repeating this step on the other side of the neckline. So just pay good attention to what I'm doing or what I'm saying, whichever you can pay attention to. So I'll go over to the other side so I can explain this again. Now you guys remember we have two notches. One is from the four inches we made while we're drafting out the pattern. And the second notch is the one we made, the 1.5 we made after folding the four inches by 1.5. So what we're going to do is sew from the 4 inches after folding it to the right side. We're just going to sew by quarter an inch. And when we get to the second notch we made, the 1.5 inch notch, we're just going to stop and bring in the collar. Now I'm, I'm just going to place the collar. The collar is sitting on the right side of the fabric. That's the shirt fabric. And I'm just going to place the collar from the second notch. And then I'll sew the remaining extra of the 4 inches fabric left. I'll sew the collar, I'll sew the neckline, and I'll sew the extra of the 4 inches left together. And I'll just keep sewing this till I get to the other point of the collar or the neckline. The other point we just finished sewing. 
So now you can see the part I'm sewing. I'm just making sure I sew in the half an inch on the collar. And I'm just going to meet this point. So once I am done with that, this is what I have. Now this is how the wrong side of my shirt looks like. And we have created the notch collar already. So what we have to do to finish this up is to top stitch on the wrong side of the collar. And that's of the shirt. So we're going to top stitch. And to do this, we're just going to start sewing from the beginning of the collar. Making sure we top stitch on all parts. And when you get to the excess, the remaining part of the 4 inches we left, you just make a notch. Like this as I'm doing, I'm just going to make a notch. And once I do this notch, once I make this notch, I can be able to hide in the rough edges like this on the collar so I can get a neat finishing. So I'll just go ahead and tuck this in into the collar and then top stitch. So that is the reason why we made that notch. After the excess of the 4 inches, we just made that notch so we can just tuck all extras and all rough edges into the collar and top stitch. So I'm just going to repeat the step here. I'll go ahead and make a notch at the excess of the 4 inches. And now I can be able to tuck in the rough edges on the neckline. I'll tuck this into the collar and top stitch. And I'm just going to sew to the end of the collar. And now this is how it looks once we're done with the step. You can see that the wrong side looks clean and the right side also looks clean. So let's move to step 8. Step 8 is for us to create and attach the sleeves. So this is my shirt. It is almost done. All we have to do now is attach the sleeves. And to do that, we have to measure out the armhole. So I'm just going to place my tape and measure. And you guys, as you can see, I am getting nine and a half on the armhole. Now this is the fabric I cut out for my sleeves. And I have two fabrics here, all folded into two. Now the length for me is eight inches. You can go ahead and make the length as long as you want. And the first thing I'm going to do on this sleeve is on the open edges, I'm just going to mark 4 inches down. And I'll mark 3 inches in from this part, from the top of the fabric, I'll mark 3 inches in. You guys, sorry about the white chalk on the lemon green fabric. I know you guys can barely see, but just bear with me. Now I'm just going to connect these both points together. And while connecting, I'm just going to make a curve like this. Like this is the fastest way for you to create a sleeve. So I'll make the curve and then I'll cut out the excess or the extras that I don't need. Now the next thing I'm going to do is measure out my armhole on the sleeves and I'll add 0 0.5 inch to this. So I'll be marking 10 inches. And the next thing for me to do is I'll mark 7 inches at the base of my sleeves. At the round base i'm talking about is the round base of where the sleeve will be sitting and the round base for me is 12.5 and divided by two gives you six um and quarter i'm just going to make it seven for sewing allowance too so i'm just going to mark seven inches here and i'll connect both points together and i have created my sleeves i'll go ahead and cut this out so you guys i have the two sleeves here and i'll just go ahead and sew this in by half an inch so I'll be sewing this in from here by half an inch. But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts. I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path. I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act. I'll leave the knife right. So once I'm done, I'm just going to flip this to the right side and go ahead and attach my sleeves to the shirt's armhole. So I'm attaching this to the shirt armhole and I always do this. I place, I place the sleeve to the shirt armhole from the right side and then I just flip this to the wrong side and I sew by quarter or half an inch. That is how I always attach my sleeves. I hope you guys, I hope the steps to this point was clear. Please let me know in the comment section and if, if you're having any problem, also let me know so I can correct that for you. So once I am done, this is the result for the shirt. And the next thing for us to do is sew in our skirt piece. So let's go ahead and start doing that. 
So step one in cutting and sewing the skirt is we're going to place the pattern on the folded fabric and cut. And right here, I have my front piece. I did this offline. So I have my front piece here. This is my front pattern on the folded fabric. So this automatically made this piece my front piece of the skirt. Now the next is the back pattern. I have that place on the folded fabric. And this is my back piece for the skirt. Now you guys remember your back piece is supposed to be two so it has to be splitted into two because of the zip part so i have two here and you guys let's go into the second step now step two is for us to sew the zip allowance on the back piece by one inch and join the back piece to the front piece so this is my back piece and i'll be sewing the zip side by one inch let's go to the sewing machine and do this together so right here i am just closing up the back piece by one inch and this sewing I am doing is being done at the zip side. Next thing for me to do is place my front piece on the back piece and then sew this in by half an inch on the sides. So this is my front piece. I'm just going to place this on the back piece and I will be closing this off by half an inch on the side. Just follow the path. I'll lead them in the battle while you're just too scared to act. I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling You keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling Keep mumbling I'll keep doubling You keep bluffing You've got nothing I'll keep hustling Now step three is for us to create the band for the skirt. And this is how I always create my band. I have my fabric here cut out already. And uh, how long this fabric is, this is my round waist plus four extra inches. So my round waist is 31 plus four inches makes it 35. And the first thing I'm going to be doing on this fabric, I'm just going to fold in half an inch on the top. Now this fabric is five inches long, like... For the width, I don't know if you guys call it width or length, but this fabric is 5 inches long. And I'm just going to be ironing in half an inch on the top and then half an inch on the base here. So once I take off half an inch on the top and half an inch on the base, I have 4 inches left on the fabric. Then I'll go ahead and fold this into 2 equal parts to make it 2 inches worth of band. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just folding this in by 2 equal parts. After folding in half an inch on the top and on the base, I'll fold this in into two equal parts and iron this down. Your iron is actually necessary for this whole process, okay? Step four is for us to attach the prepared band to the skirt. So this is the skirt. The next thing I'm going to do before attaching my band is to open up the zip part to where I want the zip to stop. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just going to open this up to where I want my zip to sit from the top point to the stop point and once i have that opened i'm just going to start sewing in my band and to do this i'm just going to place my band and fabric from the wrong side of the skirt piece this is the wrong side of the skirt piece and i'm placing the band from the wrong side i'll go sew in the half an inch that is what i'm doing we're doing this process together i'm sewing in the first half an inch i folded in on the band and I'm sewing this to the wrong side of the skirt piece. So you know we already ironed in half an inch on the band for the top and on the, the, the down part. So we're sewing in one of the half an inch. And once I am done doing that, the next thing for me to do is flip this to the right side of the skirt. And then stop stitch by the remaining half an inch we have left. So I have flipped this to the right side of the skirt and now I'm just going to top stitch this on the right side and I'm just going to sew really really close to the end of the band. This is how I always attach my band to either skirts, shorts, trousers, name it. This is how I do it. Step 5 is for us to attach the zip. So once we are done sewing in the band, the next thing we are going to do is attach the zip. And this is the zip I'll be using for this skirt. 
Now, because I have the points of the zip indicated already on my skirt, what I'll do is I'll flip this to the wrong side of the fabric. That's the skirt fabric. And I'll place my zip like this. Now, make sure you place your zip half inch or one inch before the stop point. And now I'm just going to sew this by the half an inch on the zip. I'm just going to sew really close to the zip, the teeth of the zip. So I'm sewing really close to the teeth. And that is what I'm showing you guys. Now the teeth of the zip or the actual zip, I made sure that it sits between the two lines I have on my skirt piece. And I'm sewing this in very, very close to the zip teeth. And once I'm done sewing this side, I'll, I'll turn this so I can be able to sew the other side of the zip. And yeah, very easy way to attach your zip. Work is, I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is. I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness. But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts. I'm setting down, grab a wall, you just fall over. Like I've seen a lot of people. So, first of all, I'm just going to zip this down. I'm flipping this to the right side. This is how it looks. I'll just zip this down and then I'll cut out the excess, leaving one inch left because i'll be using that to fold the zip into the band and so so i'm just going to fold the one inch i left into the band like this and fold this in like this and so i hope you guys saw what i did there so i'm just going to tuck this hair a little bit and you guys that is it for this whole two piece i hope the steps were easy i hope they are detailed please let me know in the comment section and yeah if you have any issue please let me know also in the comment section and i'm going to be willing to answer all questions now to finish this up make sure you hem the base of the skirts the sleeves and the shirts hem the base and also don't forget to create your button holes and attach your button Thank you guys for watching. You guys have been amazing. Please let me know how yours goes. And let me know the color you'll be using for your two-piece. Do not forget to like this video. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Sending love and light your way. I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye.